back to basics. After a long time at home, it can feel really overwhelming going back to school. Here are some things that you can do to help make it a little easier. Routine is the foundation to looking after our emotional well-being. Our bodies are like clocks and feel more comfortable when they run to a schedule. We can help to soothe that overwhelming feeling by getting back into a regular routine with our eating, sleeping, exercise and hygiene. Think of it like a house. A house needs foundations in order to stand up safely. Our emotional well-being is the same. If we are not sleeping, eating, exercising and taking care of ourselves on a regular basis, the other areas of our emotional well-being are bound to feel a bit under the weather. If while you've been at home, your routine has changed or disappeared, that's OK. But now we need to start preparing for a return to school by getting back into a routine which will make it easier for you to manage this change. So what do you do? Let's start with sleep. Start going to bed and getting up at the same times that you would on a school day so that it doesn't feel like a big shock to your body when you have to go back to school or college. It will help you feel more energised and ready for the day. A top tip for this would be to get up a little bit earlier each day until you're getting up at your normal time for school. Scientists have found that blue light from screens like phones, tablets or laptops tell your brain to stay awake. So to help you fall asleep quicker, it can be good to avoid screens for an hour before you want to fall asleep. Dimming the brightness is not enough. Eating is the next pillar to think about. Eating regularly can help to keep our energy levels consistent so we don't feel like this. And it helps us to concentrate too. We need to think about what food we are putting into our bodies. Energy drinks, chocolate and crisps are all really tasty, but can make our energy levels peak and trough like a roller coaster, which won't help the overwhelming feeling. It is important to eat a healthy, balanced diet and drink plenty of water as part of looking after both our physical and emotional well-being. Another important pillar that makes up the foundations of our well-being is exercise. Fresh air and exercise release natural happy chemicals into our body, which boosts our mood and helps us to sleep better at night time. There are lots of ways to get exercise into your day, such as going for a walk or run, doing a YouTube exercise video or going for a cycle. It can help with your routine to plan exercise into your day, even if you start with just 10 minutes and build it up as you feel more confident. The final pillar that makes up the foundation is personal hygiene and self-care. It's so important to shower or bath and brush our teeth every day, especially after we've been exercising. Feeling clean and fresh helps to improve how we feel about ourselves. Also, scientists have also found that having a hot shower or bath an hour before you want to fall asleep helps to release your sleepy hormone and it will help you to feel relaxed. If you can really think about working on each of these four pillars and bring all of these elements into your routine, it will give you a solid foundation for your well-being. This will help taking those first steps back into school or college just that little bit easier. Thanks for watching.